Today's video is going to be quite emotional, quite emotional for a lot of fans that are hearing Celine Dion is cancelling a lot of her 2023 concerts throughout the world, also 2024, and it looks like it'll be 25 into 26 before people get to see Celine Dion in a full concert again. So I'm taking you on a memory trip on a Taken Chances World Tour some years ago, singing the epic eyes on me, because as she de declared recently in a very emotional video on YouTube, both in French and also in English, that she has stiff person syndrome. And if you look into it, it's very, very serious what she has. For a long time, people speculated it was the continuation of her upset over her love of her life, Renée, and other papers jumped on board. And as far as I, I was concerned, there was a lot of propaganda putting a woman down that is given to millions of people nothing but pleasure, nothing but 200% in her performances. And even when she came to Dublin, the amount of people, children, adults, said, I'm going to see Celine Dion tonight. And I can't remember if it was the RDS in Dublin or where it was held. And even I remember uh, some years back working at Trinity College and some of the females were going to, and they were super excited going to see uh, Celine and afterwards they came back and said she was just so epic we have to remember she is I remember always from Eurovision and I've done a very special reaction to her Eurovision appearance on my channel which I will attach to this for you to watch because that's where she came her voice just she won it she won the Eurovision years back and I just remember being spellbound by hearing her vocabulary range, um, her octave range, and everything else about her just overwhelmed me. All I can say is she's never disappointed. And she's been a woman that's been alone since Rennie's death. And we have to remember, we she still needs our prayers, our thoughts. And you're with us, Celine, you really are. And this is my contribution to your career my very favorite song of you live was always eyes on me I, it captivated me this world tour and your performance i'm going to do a very special thumbnail to attract people to this video because i want people to remember the super super global star that you are and will always always be and celine i have to say this from the heart and i'm sure many fans will back me up you need to rest. You, you. After Renee's death, I felt you went back into work, back into a, a heavy workload. I know you needed it for your own sanity. But Celine, come on, you've got a beautiful family, the twin boys and your eldest. And I just want to say this, they need you. They need a healthy mother. They need, we need a healthy Celine. We want a, health, a healthy Celine. So take your time to heal Celine. That's my message to you in this video. And eyes on me could be twisted to our eyes are on you with prayers and thoughts and the best of wishes. Now, when it comes to Celine, I'm just going to quickly run through a few fun facts that I found out. And we already know, big Celine fans know about her, but it was titled the research, A Woman of Destiny. So from 68 to 80, Celine was born in, uh, Chalamet, I hope I've said that right, Quebec, 50 kilometers from Montreal. She was the 14th child, imagine, in the household. The house was jam packed with children, and Celine's mom even had to lay her littlest one to sleep in a drawer. In 81 25, a fun fact Celine Dion sang on TV for the first time on Michael Yasmin's talk show. The Quebecus audience immediately adopted her and everyone was convinced that she would go far. <clears throat> but no one could have imagined at the time what was to come. No, nobody could. From 86 to 92, and then she and her manager decided the time was right to take a break. An artist on the rise, Celine withdrew from live performances for 18 months. It was another daring gamble. Would she be forgotten like so many child stars before her, never able to recapture the success of their debut? 
In fact, it was the opposite was true. When she returned, her audience met a Celine transformed, more solid than ever, having per perfectly mastered English, topping the charts with the album, marking her, uh, which was called Incognito, marking her return to global fame. Now, Celine, you did it in your youth. You took that 18 month break and you panicked. Don't panic. Your, your fans now are well established and will always be here for you. Just remember that. It continues from 93 to 2000, a fun fact from that era. As 93 began, Celine sang The Power of Love for President Clinton at the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C. And The Power of Love was what drove Dion and Julio Duo. In November, upon the release of the album The Color of My Love, Celine revealed to her audience that she was in love with Rene. Wow. And beautiful pictures here as I scour through. And... In, eight, in March 97, Celine Dion became the first artist to perform two songs during the Oscars. She sang her own hit, Because You Loved Me, theme song from the film Up and Close and Personal, and replaced an ailing at the time, Natalie Cole, God rest her, at a moment's notice performing I Finally Found Someone, the theme song from the film The Mirror Has Two Faces. The woman has nerves of steel, that's all we can say. Now, fun fact from 2001 to 2009, on January the 25th, Celine achieved the most important role in her life, becoming a mother. To Rennie Charles, Angelie was born at 1 a.m., weighing a very healthy six pounds, eight ounces. Now let's continue down to 2010 to 15. The biggest selling female singer in music history took a break for her second pregnancy. And since she never does anything by half measures, on October 23rd, 2010, she gave birth to twins, Nelson and Eddie. And they were baptized on March the 5th, 2011 in Las Vegas, just 10 days before her highly anticipated return to the Coliseum at Caesar's Palace. You see, she never gives up. You never give up, Celine. You're always returning and returning and returning. But this time, I have the deepest fear you'll return, but it won't quite be the same. It'll be like Barbara Streisand does, the, the sporadic concerts to audiences and her fans, one-off concerts, and it, may, it might have to be retained within Canada or America, nearer to home. And I think Las Vegas days are at an end. You've given so much of yourself, Celine. You've been a mother, a businesswoman, a, a, uh, the most incredible wife to Renee, the most incredible artiste to her fans. You've, you, you've done it all. But now it's me time, Celine. So we continue with a few fun facts. In 2016, um, Rene Angeli, the most famous impresario in the world, passed away. Millions and millions of fans were in mourning. And never before had a man in the shadows held such an important place in the hearts of people. Fate would hand Celine a double blow as two days later, her brother Daniel died. And this is what people are forgetting. So we need to go forward. The summer Celine embarked on a two month tour of Asia Pacific region, Australia, New Zealand, the first time in 20 years. Celine returned to the Coliseum at Caesars Palace in September 18 and announced that more than 15 years after the premiere for first critically acclaimed Las Vegas residency, her second production, Celine, at the Coliseum at Caesars Palace would end on June the 8th, 2019. And that Celine takes us up to the present day where you were suffering at that time and you were so devoted to your fans that you kept going, you kept going, you kept going. And what I would say to you is this, time to rest. We expect you to rest. We truly do. And I think this is very poignant eyes on me the world's eyes are on you as i said through prayers but celine look i want your fans to to look at all of the people here to see you on taking chances world tour one of many tours you've done one of many places you've filled out but this particular performance i think is one of your very best let's enjoy it
I'll come back and give you a very small synopsis, very small, of the lyrics. Celine, take it easy. We love you, and this is the reason why. <coughs> <coughs> We are keeping our eyes on you, Celine. We certainly are, for all the reasons I mentioned before. Very quickly, I want to make sure my time isn't running out on the video. So I'll give you a very quick run through of what the song was about, first of all. First and foremost, Celine rocks, doesn't she? And I'm loving this new sound, by the way. That midi Middle Eastern flavor is so hot it really suits you Celine and the song is basically about being in a ship with a partner who eyes are wondering and checks out other people not with the intention to cheat but 
she's saying, I've got to be the only one. And Celine, you're right. A lot of people allow the wondering eyes, but that should never be in a relationship. But my mother used to say, God rest her, your eyes are for looking, but your heart is for is with one person. So my mother used to say that. Eyes on me, I know that once in love, you don't drink the devil who's inside. And maybe it will come one day when you feel safe and I won't have the time. Continues, you hear what you want to hear. Play it once. I could disappear. Some rules to the game of me. Get it right for both of us. In other words, you start looking. Start playing the field. I'm out of here. Just say what you want to say. I've got to give it away. We both want to make it last. So keep your eyes on me. Your eyes on me. And Celine, who wouldn't? You're beautiful, talented, rich, everything that a man wants. No, I'm gay, Celine, sorry. I'm gay. But I love you. And if I was straight, I'd want you. I wouldn't be wondering eyes. But when you've had a lifetime of Rennie's love, and you did, and his eyes never wondered, I can understand trepidation in any new relationship that may come your way and you're still beautiful enough and young enough and soon you'll be fit enough we know that our prayers will be answered you'll want the eyes to be kept in you for the right reasons just be careful Celine, because we've got our eyes in you as well even in your love life we want the best for you it continues just say you want to say i've got to give it away we both want to make it last so keep your eyes on me your eyes on me that says everything doesn't it everybody it's not an illusion that you're the one and I have fallen deep. I said it from the start, when we're apart, you must only think of me. So in other words, she's teaching a lesson here. I'm empowered with myself, not you. I'm empowered by myself, not you. I love myself more than I love you. If you want me to love you just as much as I love me, and you want to have some of that empowerment, you behave yourself. Temptation is all around. Take a good look at what you found. That's only when I turn around. You better keep your eyes on me. No matter what I think I need. No matter what you once believed. If you're mine. So you better say. That's a warning again. You're with me. Treat me well. Start looking around and playing your old ways. You're out of here. So no matter what you think of me, she says. No matter what you really once believed. I want to be the air you breathe. Yeah, you better be everything you said you'd be. So in other words, when you gave the flowers and that sweet words and all of that, and you won me over, she's telling through her lyrics to her fans, don't accept second best. May they always bring flowers and keep you sweet and keep the love pure. So she says, we can't go on no matter what you think of me, you better keep your eyes on me. And it continues, you say that you want me, open up your heart, even if it's hard, say that you need me then let him know baby don't put on a show in other words don't always please your partner and go with false smiles and go, <laughs> that's tiring mentally and physically show if you're upset if they're not being responsive and loving tell them just come out with it with the words stop being strong it's all about empowerment of love you say that you need me it continues tell him how you feel do speak communicate and say what you want in a relationship and then it will happen let him know it's real and if he loves and if you love me never turn your back going to keep my eyes on you on there so in other words you might turn around and walk out this door but i'm watching you and temptations all around she continues take good care of what you found and it goes on no matter what i think no matter what you think of me the air that you breathe and going to be the only one better keep your eyes on me so the synopsis is Keep your eyes open always when you're in love because sometimes when they put on the slippers and they think they're comfortable, homemade meals, clothes ironed, warm house, <gasps> you don't want to be coming home to a person who feels that their heart isn't warm. Otherwise, you, you'll be back out that door as quick as you came in. And that's the attitude a lot of people need. Or in other words, always have that third eye that protects here. That's what she's saying. So that's it, everybody. Thank you for listening. And thank you, Celine. We love you. We think of you. You'll be back soon. And I hope you come back soon to my channel. Like and subscribe, please. And help my channel grow. Take care.